Hey guys, uh, Mike D. Diego, Industrial Safety. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, a couple different points on the multi-ray. Uh, the first thing that we're going to cover is uh, how to turn it on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and press the middle mode button. Press and hold it until you see the lights pop on. It's going to run through some diagnostics really quick and give you a, a countdown. And at the end of that, it's going to go into what we call real time. All right, some operational things that we're going to do. Uh, once on and in real time, we're going to go ahead and block the pump. Uh, you'll notice in the uh, upper right hand corner of your screen that that's the actual pump uh, operating. When I go ahead and block the pump, you'll notice that the X shows up in it. So if you're wondering what um, is going on with your instrument and you look down on it, you can see that. I'm going to go ahead and press the Y key to reset my pump. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to perform an actual bump test on the piece of equipment. And uh, what I brought today, uh, because we obviously have a bunch of different gases inside there, is I have a, a dry eraser. Uh, the dry eraser is going to be used to activate the VOC sensor. So I'm just going to hold it close, but not on it until it goes into alarm. I'm going to go ahead and pull away from that. And then what I have is I have an, uh, another bottle of gas that has the other four gases inside it. So what I'm going to do is just barely press this trigger that I'm holding for about two or three seconds and all of the balance of my uh, equipment or my sensors inside here should go into alarm. All right, now that we bump tested it, we obviously set some peaks that uh, are not real. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go clear the peaks. And to do so, I'm going to use my soft arrow key. You'll notice this arrow button over here is operated by this key here. I'm gonna hit it and once, and it says peaks. Um, it stores all of the peaks that uh, were the highest at last. And if we wanted to clear those, we just simply hit the, says yes. and we've now cleared our peaks. And uh, it'll move over into the next line. So I'm just gonna simply press this key until I get back into real-time readings. And now we're back at real-time readings. The last operation we're gonna talk about is going in and zeroing or fresh air zeroing our instrument. Uh, we had an interesting conversation today that I wanted to share uh, about whether you should zero or not zero. There's a lot of uh, different theories out there. And what I shared was uh, if you were in your cab uh, of your engine and you turned it on and you had a background environment of six PPM of CO and maybe two PPM of a VOC, uh, which could be very common, um, and you zeroed it, you'd be lying to your instrument. So I explained that you should wait um, for you know a good 20 or 30 seconds of reading time. And if it's still the same, I might take it outside the area that I sampled in um, just to see if it changes. Um, if, if it doesn't change, then you know you need to zero your instrument, and this is how we're going to do it. Uh, to get into the uh, menu-driven mode to make that happen, we're going to press the N and mode key. And in certain instruments, when they're set up in advance, uh, you don't have to enter a password. Uh, if you were using an instrument set up in basic, you would get a password driven uh, instrument and it would ask you either for a password or you could press the enter button. It would just allow you to get into this particular device in calibration. Uh, the password for the instrument in basic is uh, zero, 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 zero. Four zeros to just show you that this is highlighted on this piece. I'm just gonna mode around until I get back to calibration. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the soft arrow key select and the first item that pops up is a fresh air. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit my select button again and it gives me the sensors that are inside there that it's going to do it with. I'm gonna hit the start button. You're going to get a 60 second countdown and at the end of that 60 second countdown it's going to share with you the values at which it passed on. All right, so just to conclude what we're talking about once this uh, instrument is done here, um, we're gonna first turn the instrument on. We're then, to, we're then going to block the pump after that, we're going to perform a bump test. We want to make sure that we clear the peaks after that bump test. We're going to put it back in real-time reading, and then if we need to, we're going to go back and zero the instrument. After the instrument is zeroed, you saw what it went through. It's going to go into the next level of what it'll allow you to do. At this point, we're going to not do anything else but go back into real-time readings, and we do that by using the soft arrow back key. We'll hit it once, we'll hit it twice, and now we're back into real-time readings.